guys, my name is Bianca Dupree. I am your host on the Black Couch Show and welcome back to my show. Let's get right into it. This, today's episode, we are going to talk about how far would you go when it comes to protecting your own mental health? I mean, do you have an ideal? Most people will be like, hmm, I never really thought about it. Um, some people may have an answer saying that I would automatically go to the moon and back for protecting my mental health. How far have I ever been protected by mental health? Pretty far, lately, pretty far. In the past, the answer would have been like, mm, not really. Still working on my boundaries, but now I'm like, I'm getting very confident. I have to, for myself, I know that I am very sensitive to other people's emotions. Meaning that if I know somebody that is stressed out, or if I know somebody that is going through a lot of trauma, or somebody who's toxic and have negative feelings, I kind of tap into those emotions and I kind of feel every emotion. Well, not kind of. I do tap into their emotion and I have the ability to feel every emotion that they're feeling. So sometimes I get involved in their sadness or their mental health and that impacts my mental health. And so I'm very sensitive to other people's emotions. So I have to make sh like work extra hard to make sure that I am balanced out in my own emotions. And sometimes that's a challenge and especially when I have a big heart and I care about so many people and I want so many people to do great and go in and do a lot of the basic things in their lives. But then as I'm getting older, I've learned I, I, it's okay to take a step back, and especially if it's compromising your mental health, your mental health. Your mental health should never be a compromisable thing. You shouldn't have to compromise on your mental health. If you are in a situation or if you're in an environment where you seem like you always have to compromise your own mental health, that to me is a red flag and it's definitely a wake-up call and it's something that you should step back and do a lot of self-reflections of why it's making you compromise a lot of times when it comes to your own mental health. How far have I ever took protecting my mental health is I have stopped certain relationships in my life because I know that deep down this was a healthy type of relationship for me to partake in so I have ended relationships I have taken a step back from people that complain and they don't want help that's important as humans we always complain about a variety of the different things there's always something that's stressing us out there's always things in our life that we're not really 100% happy with but it's a difference between complaining and don't want any help. And there's a difference between complaining and asking for help and grasping all the information and resources that you can to help out your situation and and doing the action to change the situation or make your life better. So there's a big difference between those categories. So please pay attention to that. But yes, I have I have went as far as leaving an environment, a toxic environment, and relocating to a whole different place, stop talking, communicating to certain people, hanging around certain people. I'm very strict on my boundaries. I don't care who you are. You could be my family member. You could be somebody that I knew all my life. You could be a next door neighbor. I don't care. I will protect my my mental health at all situations and all times and points of my life because of the fact that I know that I have worked super hard and I'm still working hard to maintain my mental health. So I take pride in that and I'm the type of person that if I set a boundary, it goes all across the board. There's no there's no boundaries that I have set in my life as of right now where I'm like, okay, well, this person ought to do this. Well, okay, I'll kind of, I'll kind of adjust it depending on who, who crossed my boundaries. No, I'm not doing that. 
and it's okay when you're when you're protecting your mental health and you're setting up those boundaries and it's okay if people just get mad at you because I had so a lot of situations in my life where when I set up those boundaries and you know meant what and showed them I meant what I said they would get upset at me for having healthy boundaries and sometimes that's crazy because you're like wait why are you getting upset at me for setting healthy boundaries and because my boundaries are some like because some people they set like crazy boundaries right but my boundaries it's not only good that, that I set, it's not only good for myself, it's good for everybody. Because I make sure that I am, I'm making sure that I'm not being toxic. And I'm always working on my healing and working on myself to be a better person in any relationship that I am. But I've learned that it's okay if there's going to be people that are mad at you because you want peace. Like, I'm getting emotional. <sighs> but this is part of the Black Cow Show showing bonding bitterly and talking about topics that are very vulnerable but yeah <laughs> so basically what I was saying is is that I got to the point where I really want mental peace and I would do fight and do anything and protect it and take a step back and stop being around certain people if I have to when it comes to having mental peace so i got to the point where i'm okay with that like if people get mad and say oh bianca like you have to accept out first of all I, I don't have to accept anything that i don't want to i don't have to partake in anything that i want to i don't have to participate in things that i don't want to all of this is optional so no, I don't. I don't have to. Well, you should, or you should want to do this. Not if it's compromising my mental health. No, I'm not going to. So I got to that point where it's okay to set those boundaries, and if people close to you don't necessarily agree with those mental health boundaries, that's okay. Because I think that I have to live my life. I have to be happy and peaceful with myself, my environment my headspace, I have to do that. So, you can't help me be okay in my own mental. So, as an individual, I have to make sure that I'm okay with my own mental. And if that means that there are certain things that I'm just not gonna participate, and if there's certain people that I feel like every time I'm around you, I have to compromise my mental health to make you happy, then no. I'm taking a step back. That's just how it is. And that's just the reality of life that when you're going through your healing journey and it's almost like you wake up and you're more aware to certain things. Like by me going to my healing journey, I realize that I'm more aware of a lot of different shit. <laughs> like I can sense when things like I can sense when a relationship is not going to work out because I can pick up on certain red flags. I'm like, yeah, this is not something that I want to partake in. And I'm just like real and honest. And trust me, your spirit will thank you later. Like your spirit will look back and be like, thank you for listening to me. And thank you for prioritizing me. So this is definitely something that you should do for yourself. Don't feel ashamed. Don't make other people will feel make you feel bad about setting those boundaries when it comes to your mental health and don't feel bad when you deep down know that this is not something that you, you should partake in because it's always compromising your mental health don't feel bad it is a it is a very rocky road at first because there's going to be people that get upset with you because you're like I don't want to be disrespected. I want you to be open. I want you to listen to my feelings. I'm listening to your feelings. I've been open to your side. I want you to do the same thing for me. And then there's gonna be people that's just gonna be pissed the f off. <laughs> that's okay. Let them be mad. Let them be mad. <laughs> Let them be mad. Let them deal with their own shit. If they're stressing mad at you because 
you are putting your boundaries up for not allowing somebody to disrespect you, not allowing somebody to be toxic towards you, trying to force you to do things that you don't want to do that makes you unhappy, but you're always trying to cater to them. Let them be mad. Let them stay where they at. You stay at your place and I stay at mine. Let them be mad. Because honey, when I tell you that I am going to have peace and I'm going to be mentally happy, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm protected at all costs. Not giving a damn who you are, but that's what Bianca's gonna do. So, I would like to hear you guys' feedback on how you guys feel about protecting your mental health. Also, like, tell me, share in the comments section of how far you would take it to protect your mental health. And what I mean by how far you take it, have you stopped associating with certain people? For example, I have a friend who, by a certain time of night, she would silence her phone. <laughs> You know, it could be small things like that. Like, what do you do to protect your mental health? And also, how far would you take your boundaries? Thank you guys for supporting so much on the Black Couch Show. There is more to come.